It's the week before Thanksgiving. Have you bought your turkey? It's the centerpiece of the Thanksgiving Day feast. Catherine, this turkey tastes half as good as it looks. I think we're all in for a very big treat. But getting it just right, both tender and juicy, isn't easy. So how do you avoid a turkey day disaster? We're here to help. Right? Isn't that the one nightmare in your mind when you're putting that turkey in the oven? Please, Lord, don't let it end up like the one on a Christmas no. vacation. Oh. Joining us this morning to show us how not to do that is yes. our good friend, the Roaming Gourmet, Chessie <laughs> Carter with the Kitchen Cooking School. Hi. Great to Thank have you. you. Thank you for having me. We Thank love when you, you come to visit us, <laughs> Chessie. We do. Okay, so this turkey is perfect. At least I it mean, looks perfect on the outside, yeah. right? right? Yes. And you've brought us some tips to help us through yes. this process, right? Of Tell course. us what your first tip is. So my first tip is you need to plan accordingly for your turkey. You want to make sure that you have enough for everybody. Mm -hmm. So you want to gauge about one and a half to one pound per person. Okay. And it may sound like a lot, but let's factor in bones and the goodies on the inside. Right. So you have enough turkey. So the average turkey is going to be between 12 and 14 pounds. Okay. If you're going to make a smaller turkey, then you may want to consider uh, doing a turkey breast instead of a whole turkey if it's only one or two of you. Okay. But if you're going to have 8 to 10 people, then the t 12 to 14 pound turkey is going to be perfect. So that's the first thing. That's a big turkey. It sounds, <laughs> it sounds big. This, until, this is a 12 pounder. This is a 12 pounder. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay. it sounds big until you get everybody there and you that's get so to true. cutting. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, 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 that's and enough. leftovers, right? Because yeah. you want to save. Yes. Yeah. Of course you want leftovers. And then a lot of times the tips of the wings are not, you know, as easily edible. So you might want to do something else with that. So 12 pounds is really good. Okay. Then the second thing is you want to give your turkey enough time to be thawed oh. safely. Mm -hmm. So doing that, every five pounds of the turkey, you need to account for 24 hours in the refrigerator to defrost. Every okay. five pounds. Okay. Every five pounds. So this turkey is going to need at least two days to defrost. Frost. Mm -hmm. So if you are thawing out your turkey the night before, you're going to have problems. And a lot of people do that. <laughs> yes. 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 So go ahead, Sunday or Monday, get your turkey and just get it right in the fridge. It will be fine. And then another tip is brining your turkey. That's hard. Brining? No, that is oh, so that's easy. Hard. Listen, my friend, <laughs> okay. it's very okay. easy. It's a one-to-one -one <laughs> ratio. Okay. So for every gallon of water, you need one cup of kosher salt. That's your basic That's it. That's, okay. it. That's all you have to do? So for every gallon, one cup of kosher salt. Right. Okay. So this turkey is going to need three gallons of water. Okay. So we're going to do three cups of kosher salt. Then we're going to add fresh herbs and aromatics. So like my apron, this is a gentle reminder. Parsley, <laughs> sage, rosemary, and thyme. Oh. Or you could just sing the song in your head. And then you'll have everything sage. you need. Yes. And then if you want to be special like David, you can add a little whiskey. Oh, yeah, so you want to add those things to your brine yeah. and brine your turkey about 24 hours, okay. 12 to 24 hours. Okay. And then my last but most important tip is keep your stuffing mm. on the side. Don't put it inside Don't, your turkey. No. Why? And I, it's because there's a lot of things that can go wrong. Salmonella for one mm. thing. Mm. If your turkey is undercooked and your stuffing is in there, all all that juice is ran oh, sure. inside of your, your stuffing. Okay. Right. So you can use your drippings like my mom would do her turkey the day before and she'd take the gizzards and all the drippings and use that to make a broth to make the dressing with. So you could still keep the flavor. Final question for you. Is it dressing or is it stuffing? <laughs> I'm from the south, and it's stuffing. It's stuffing in the okay. south. Yes, it's stuffing in the south, and it's cornbread stuffing. Uh -huh. Cornbread. Okay. So. Not those oysters. No, right. no, right. no right. fancy okay. stuff. Good old traditional <laughs> things. Chef, it was a pleasure. Thanks for all oh, this yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. Really was so good. Yeah. Thank you so much. And by the way, yeah. Chef C is going to be back with us on Friday oh, to talk yes. about what to do with the leftovers, yes. and I can't yes. wait for that. If there's so, any, I hope my husband you. saves us some. Yeah. <laughs> we'll talk to you, you know about that. You want a turkey leftover? I bet. <laughs>